I'll be honest, I don't like Windows 11. I don't like the fact that Microsoft is saying that 30% of their code is now written by AI. I don't like the telemetry. I don't like the interface. I don't like right clicking. I don't like it. I want to be a stick in the mud and use Windows 10 with extended security updates for as long as possible and then IoT Enterprise LTSC after that. But for those of you who actually want to live in the current year, what are your options? Well, you could use a Mac or you could switch to Linux. Those aren't bad options, genuinely. But if you need to stay within the Windows ecosystem and you care about your privacy, I've got the video for you. So this is O and O Shut Up 10 Plus Plus. Now this was originally developed for Windows 10, but it's been adapted. It works fine with Windows 11, and it gives you pretty much full granular control over the privacy settings on your Windows 11 install. So this is a VM we have here that is just a standard Windows 11 installation, and we can see it's it's a VM. Of course, that's fine, but it has not. It's 25H2. It's the latest version. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't know why it's an education one, but that's fine. And we're going to download this tool. And uh, the other good thing about O and O Shut Up 10 Plus Plus is uh, you can turn off Copilot and AI entirely. And this is free, by the way. So we'll install the software. I'll show you guys how easy it is to do this, by the way. And this is not paid. It's not sponsored. We don't even have to install it, it just opens. Now, let's full screen. So we can see everything here, we can see all of these privacy settings. So these toggles are what it thinks you should do. So, yes we want to disable and reset advertising ID, yes we want to disable transmission of typing info, because if you didn't realize, pretty much everything that you type uh, with your keyboard when you're interacting with a Microsoft Store app, is transmitted back to Microsoft by default, so that setting turns this off. You can also do things like disable suggestions and start, which I do want to do. And it's even going to prompt us to make system restore points. That's how thorough this uh, app is. So we will do that. I'll show you guys how to do that. So we go open control panel, and it takes us straight to system properties, and we need to click on configure, turn on system protection, and you just pick a percentage point that sounds good for you. I'm gonna go four or five percent because this is a very small hard drive because it's a VM. We'll just apply that and go okay. And now, do we wanna create a system restore point? Yes. And it's gonna do that for us. This allows us to go back if we don't like the changes very easily. Now you can, of course, revert all the changes from within the app. So we can disable suggested content, we can disable suggesting finishing a device setup, which is the, uh, you should sign up with a Microsoft account dialogue that you get. Now I wouldn't disable app notifications, but you know, you can do whatever you want. Now all of these things, look at all this stuff. So not only does it help with privacy with Microsoft products and Windows, but Third-party apps can be restricted from doing all of these other things like having access to your notifications, your contacts, your calendar, your device location, your camera, your mic, all of those things that you really probably don't want third-party apps to have access to. Eye tracking, very nice. Now, of course, there's some that'll be catastrophic, like disable app access to the file system. You probably don't want to do that, um, unless you don't want your app to be able to read or write data at all, but that's okay. It also provides uh, settings for Edge and Office as well, so, you know, this is Good stuff here and of course we can disable windows copilot get rid of the button and get rid of copilot plus recall so the easiest thing and what i would recommend you guys to do is just go to actions and apply recommended settings or recommended and somewhat if you are more privacy conscious we could just go apply only the recommended settings sorry let's go revert and we'll go uh yes and then we will go to recommended only and it's still 112 settings. We can see there's a lot of app access, so I would recommend you guys spend some time, you know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour even, go through all this stuff, tweak it to your liking, because a Windows install can last you a long time if it's set up properly. I think it's quite good to go through and have everything dialed in exactly how you like. But the recommended option at least gives you some benefits. You can also go to Copilot and you can see it'll tell us the Copilot functionality is, is activated and data can be recorded and at least one Copilot application is installed. So we will remove that. And yes, we want to remove Copilot. And we can see fast in the speed of light, Copilot has disappeared from the bottom of our taskbar. And then the Copilot functionality is activated, so let's deactivate it. Uh, no. All right, and that's it, that's done. We are finished. Now it'll say, thank you, and we should restart. And see, these sort of notifications are why I hate 
Windows 11. Look at this. I don't want Windows backup. Because, you know, the other thing is, it's an ad. Yes, I get it. OneDrive is free. You can have a Microsoft account for free. I mean, A, it's not free because they farm your data. But B, you have to pay if you want more than a couple of gigs of storage. So, no. Anyway, let's restart. And we're now back in Windows without Copilot, without Recall. I believe even OneDrive. I don't think it's been deleted, but it doesn't start up automatically anymore. Those command windows are from another video that I did. <laughs> VM is clean, but uh, it has been activated with uh, Masgrave. So, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to show you guys because it's so it's clean now. If we go to settings and we go to uh, apps, for example, we can see that we don't have Copilot, we don't have Cortana, we don't have anything like that in here. We can also get rid of OneDrive and then pretty much all of the Microsoft bloat rubbish slash garbage is gone uh, at this point. We have to keep Edge because it's integral for Windows 11. And if we go to AI components, we can see that there are no AI components currently installed. So, oh no, shut up 10 plus plus has done its job. And with this nice looking menu here that says there's no AI components installed, I think that's about time to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all again next time.